the highlights for me at the Andia conference has been my meeting and engagement with Isaiah Bendy from FBIS. Isaiah has been sharing the work that he does across the African continent. Very cool stuff and I encourage everybody to sit up and take note and roll out, partner, showcase the solutions that FBIS has in store. Isaiah, Thank you want to tell us more? Thank you, Barbara. Um, such a pleasure. It's, it's been exciting since I've met you, the conversation, the energy, you know, so thank you again. Yeah, like you mentioned, yeah, I'm the founder of um, FBIS Technology. Um, at FBIS, basically, we pride ourselves as the organization that is driving digital inclusion, most importantly around the delivery of value to the last mile to the people that ordinarily would have been excluded by the current um, technology framework, right? Um, the people in the low um, um, and middle income communities in the rural areas and all of that. Um, so we build a technology that enables us to deliver the same value that we have in the urban area to them right there in their community, in their local dialect, uh, localized content that speaks to their current needs for a sustainable um, life. So Isaiah, what made you come up with this solution? Because I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, wow, why didn't I think of that before? So what made you really come up with something like this? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. What um, drove my passion towards what we started um, over 10 years ago, basically, is towards um, there's just so much opportunity, right, um, in the current world, especially with the technology disruptions and all of that. But again, there's just minor people that can access this opportunity. So um, for us, we were like, okay, why can't we take this, right, to the people that even need this opportunity the most. So um, we try to put ourselves in the position of those who have been excluded and think, okay, how do we, you know, bring this, you know, uh, opportunity to these people, you know, um, so that they can also participate um, just the way you and I can, you know, because of the privilege of society and all of that. So, so Isaiah, from what I hear you say, yeah. it's, it's all about access, right? It's yes, access absolutely. to the right tools, access to information, absolutely, access to services that normal, ordinary people would not have exactly. um, under normal circumstances. Exactly. And and for me, coming from the agriculture space, <laughs> that problem of access exists with farmers. Absolutely. You know, farmers in the marginalized areas, yeah. farmers yeah. in rural areas, smallholder farmers don't yeah. always have that information at their fingertips. Right. How do you see this solution that you've come up with yeah. play out in yeah. the agriculture space? Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Um, those, are, those are our problems. So in, in business, again, we say addressable market, right? Uh, those farmers are our actually, uh, they are our primary addressable market. Those are the people that this platform is built for. Uh, one of our platforms, Beam City. Um, is, is designed basically so that we can take this content, right, like what you have, such rich content, we can take it to them, right, um, at no cost that they can afford. And most importantly, in, in, in the design is done in such a way that they can access it in convenience, ease of understanding, so today, we, what we do is we record the contents right in 10, 10 minutes and translate it to their local languages and enable them to they can access this content via IVR. Um, they can also ask questions, all voice driven, because we believe that these farmers cannot read, right? Uh, we believe they don't have smart device, right? And you and I today, if we need an information, we can go on online and Google and get that information. So what we've built, basically, we pride it to say it's the Google for the farmers, but using voice. So they can dial in, for example, and, 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 and get information concerning um, the weather, they can get information concerning the weeding and all of that, you know. So I believe that is the future of empowerment for farmers. For farmers, exciting. You call yes. it BIM City? Yes, BIM City. So you saw our solution. You, you experienced them yesterday yes, during yes. our session. Yes. 
Um, can I promise the farmers out there that uh, we will do our best to work with Beam City, with Isaiah and team, to try Absolutely. and incorporate these solutions we've developed into Beam City? Absolutely. How we are more farmers, than excited. How many farmers do you have in your platform? Right now we have over 500,000, but actively learning there are almost 200,000 farmers mm -hmm. on the platform and this was just launched 24 months ago. Oh my gosh, and, and this is only in Nigeria? Only in Nigeria, but we're hoping and excited about um, the content that you have. Um, we believe this is this is an African-wide or even mm -hmm. global solution because mm -hmm. we those barriers exist in the farmer's space. Isaiah, we're going global. We're not just doing this for Africa. Absolutely. Right? We're going global. Absolutely. Bye -bye. Well done. Thank you very much, Barbara. <laughs> Excited you. being here. Isaiah and EIA and the team that Isaiah works with at FDIS will look into sharing and scaling our solutions using the Beam City application. Watch the space, we're working on it because it cannot be done by one company only, but only through collaborations. And Isaiah and team, yay!